BYD is shaking up the EV industry once again with its groundbreaking plug-in hybrid powertrain setting, new benchmarks in efficiency and performance with a completely reimagined engine and transmission. This innovation promises record-breaking features, but can BYD truly deliver on its bold claims? And when will car enthusiasts get their hands on this game-changing technology? Just a few months ago, BYD introduced its fifth-generation DM plug-in hybrid powertrain, a true game-changer in the world of electrified vehicles available in three distinct variants. The efficient DMI, the high-performance DMP, and the rugged off-road DMO. This powertrain redefines hybrid technology with its staggering thermal efficiency of 46.06% that is unmatched, and it boasts the world's lowest fuel consumption at just 2.9 L per 100 key emitter with an astonishing driving range of 2000 E. This hybrid system is the result of years of development meticulously designed alongside BYD's cutting-edge battery technology. The first lucky models to receive this innovation are the sleek BYD Kin L DMI and the Sporty Seal Aero 6 DMI. Before diving into these exciting new models, let's rewind and explore how BYD became a powerhouse in electric mobility. Founded in 1995 in Shenzhen, China by Wang Chuanfu, BYD originally specialized in rechargeable batteries. However, in 2003, the company made a bold move into the automotive world, launching its first vehicle, the BDF3, a compact sedan that quickly gained popularity for its affordability and fuel efficiency. Then in 2008, BYD revolutionized the market with the F3DM, one of the world's first plug-in hybrids, setting the stage for its electric future. Meet the BYD Kin L DMI and Seal 06 DMI. Fast forward to today and BYD's latest creations, the Chin L DMI and Seal 06 DMI, are making waves. The Chin L DMI is a stylish sedan that rivals the Toyota Camry and comes with a 1.5L four cylinder, naturally aspirated engine paired with an electric motor available in either 120 key dollars or 160 key dollars configurations. Battery options range from 1008Q to 1580 Svenfer Sevenus, delivering an electric only range of 80 to 120 km depending on the model. These powertrains aren't just concepts, they are already in full production, ready for customers eager to experience the next evolution of hybrid technology. BYD isn't just following trends, it's setting them. Are we witnessing the future of hybrid mobility? One thing's for sure, the competition is officially on notice. BYD's stock has since experienced a boost, with its shares jumping almost 7% a week after it was launched. BYD isn't just driving, they're speeding past the competition. CLSA has some predictions that by 2026, BYD will enter the top five automakers in the world. With 92-octane gasoline priced at 7.4 yuan, which is equivalent to $15 per liter, running costs are around 0.25 yuan per kilometer. This brings it closer to the cost of pure electric vehicles, which average about 0.16 yuan per kilometer. BYD pioneered the plug-in technology in 2008 by launching its first hybrid car, but automakers have since released their own cars with ranges as high as 2,000 tarakilers, for example, on May 24th, Lee Auto introduced the L7 boasting a 254km range, fuel consumption of 3.8L per 100km, and an engine thermal efficiency of 41.8%. In March, Geely Auto also revealed a hybrid system offering a range of over 2,000km fuel consumption, as low as 2L per 100km, and thermal efficiency of above 46%. Aside from local brands, BYD is also competing with Toyota and Honda. While Toyota and Honda's hybrid engines have a thermal efficiency of around 41%, BYD's fifth-generation DM engine stands out with a higher efficiency of 46.6%. BYD's cutting-edge technology marks a major step forward in the global hybrid vehicle market, and the Chinese company is likely to pull even further ahead of its rivals. However, this sudden price drop sparked protests among customers who had already paid the higher price and had waited months for delivery. With banners in hand, these frustrated buyers expressed their dissatisfaction, feeling that BYD had undervalued their commitment and loyalty. In spite of all these controversies, one thing is clear.
BYD takes the lead in the EV industry. Generally, independent mechanics are known for their more individualized care and cheaper rates, but they often have difficulty maintaining the equipment and diagnostic software required for extensive repairs. Self-employed mechanics frequently take great pride in their work and cultivate enduring bonds with their clients. However, these mechanics might be limited in the range of services they can offer if they do not have access to the relevant data and updates from manufacturers. As a result of proprietary software, the constraints to accessing these tools change the entire landscape of auto maintenance and repair. This simply means that these mechanics risk losing customers and the customers themselves would spend more on repairs. The auto repair landscape is evolving and not necessarily for the better. In an attempt to reduce the impact on independent technicians, some automakers are providing repair information, diagnostic tools, and manuals to mechanics, though often at a cost. This helps repair shops service EVs, but limits free access. EV companies also perform many repairs remotely through software updates, reducing the need for in-person service. To fill these gaps, some deploy mobile technicians. However, completely relying on remote fixes and mobile reps risks limiting independent shops' roles. As a result, some manufacturers collaborate more closely with third parties through training, tools, and support. Customers are also worried that automakers may be economizing by sacrificing some features. This calls for urgent attention because producing vehicles that are less dependable or have shorter lifespans could discourage customers from purchasing them in the future. This may start a cycle in which businesses cut costs without addressing the underlying problems with quality. People may start to feel less confident in purchasing electric vehicles if cost-cutting initiatives make automobiles less dependable. And this might slow down the transition toward more environmentally. Friendly transportation as customers continue to hold quality and trust very dearly in their choice of automobiles. Navigating the high stakes of owning and maintaining EVs becomes crucial. It isn't uncommon for customers to want to cash in on their automobiles. One barrier, however, is that if people are made to believe electric cars are less robust, then the resale value of EVs may decrease dramatically. This significant depreciation in resale value can create a powerful psychological and financial barrier for prospective customers, causing them to hesitate and ultimately avoid buying an EV, as the fear of such a substantial financial loss over a short ownership period presents a much greater perceived risk compared to the more stable and predictable depreciation curves of conventional gasoline vehicles. This reluctance further challenges the nascent market for these cars by suppressing demand, which in turn can stifle the economies of scale needed for manufacturers to lower production costs and for a robust second-hand market to become established. Compounding this issue is the very real possibility that the essential infrastructure for electric vehicles, including widespread, reliable, and fast charging stations as well as specialized maintenance facilities staffed with trained technicians and equipped with proprietary diagnostic tools, won't expand quickly or uniformly enough to keep pace with the potential growth in consumer demand, particularly in suburban and rural areas where investment may be deemed less profitable. Should this infrastructural gap persist, the practical experience of owning an EV could remain fraught with complications. If the simple acts of charging on a long trip or finding an affordable and qualified mechanic for repairs become consistently difficult, frustrating, or time-consuming endeavors for a person, they will likely rationalize that the environmental benefits and lower per-mile energy costs are not worth the daily inconvenience and may consequently choose to retreat to the familiar, ubiquitous, and hassle-free refueling and repair ecosystem that supports conventional gasoline vehicles thereby significantly slowing the broader transition to sustainable transportation.